Hi, um, I work on out, out on site all the time and I didn't want to be stuck with uh, a Makita, a Milwaukee, uh, a Bosch um, battery radio, job site radio. So I went for the cheaper option of the Denver. Uh, the added benefit is the fact it's a DAB radio. Um, so it means that anywhere where I want to see uh, or hear history or uh, absolute 80s and 90s, I can tune straight in. And the actual tuner on the Denver is very good, so the reception is quite good. Obviously, also being able to switch to normal FM means that I've got the facility, if the DAB is not very good, to go to FM. And the FM reception on it is very good. The um, price point means that the power supply on the main six volt is very flimsy. Um, so I've already had to repair that end. And now this end is also starting to go. This is just the six volt plug-in adapter. Uh, I can actually, because of the job I do, I can get hold of a six, foot, uh, six volt mains uh, battery power supply anyway so for me this is not an option unfortunately I don't always have power so I'm relying on the battery of the Denver system which is here in DAB mode using standard cheap alkali batteries such as a Tesco's or an Asda's or even a Duracell I work on site I have to have the volume quite high and I get I'm lucky if I get three hours on DAB and maybe six hours on normal FM. So whereas the other guys who've got the Makitas etc, they don't have that power issue, but they tie one of their batteries onto a radio. Unless you want to fork out uh, around about 150 pounds for a radio battery charger, then you're sort of, you have the scenario that you, your third battery is being used by the radio. Again, I don't want to be caught by that, so, um, I've had to modify the Denver because it's so cheap. I, I got it from Amazon for about 60 quid, something like that. I thought there's got to be a better way to utilize better battery power in the box. So the idea is to basically make my own battery pack up. Because of the, the advantages of being able to choose your batteries, I've been able to actually uh, go one step further and I've got two battery packs, one which switches over to be charged while the other one is being utilised by the radio. And for safety, the switch enables me to turn absolutely everything off. So not only do I turn off the battery packs, but I also charge, turn the charger off and it cancels any power which is going to the radio. I've still got the option to go to mains, but for all of you who have this problem, which is basically everybody who's out on site using the cheap Denvers, then uh, for a minimal amount of money spent, I'd say that this is probably the most efficient way of doing it. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I've done it and how cheap it is and how much battery life or hours for each pack I'm estimating I'll get. Uh, forgive the mess, because I'm in between a million things at the moment. This is the basic Denver uh, with the DAB tuning. Um, this is the empty box when you prise it apart, so there's loads of space in there. These are two 10 milliamp, sorry, 10,000 milliamp battery packs, which I've made up. 23 pound, I think they cost me. 10 milliamps, oh, 10,000 milliamps, uh, so that's 10 amp hours and if that uses even half that's 20 hours per battery pack but we'll see because I'll test that out that's my little switch which is a four pole double throw switch that enables me to change everything over this is my fast charge point or charging point for the battery packs what I do is I basically switch it either up or down for whichever one I want to charge in the center cuts all power to everything the only way the batch the only way the radio will ever work is through the standard mains input which is from that flimsy old six volt thing so 
basically this is now giving me uh, I'll tidy this, this wiring up in a second this is giving me the extended power and it all fits back together quite nicely so I've just connected up the little IDE cable um, that just gives power to the front etc so I'm in a state of no power to anything just to show it's not nothing's happening so I'll flash down for one battery pack standard thing which Denver oh, I don't know what this is all about but flash upgrade which means it just doesn't want to know click it again and then we get our sign back but that doesn't turn it on turn it on and there we go what we got DAB Bulls Holland the two greatest things about making these shows are one voilà. working out pieces of music which we can play live all power from that battery pack the guest is Little Big Town so <laughs> off and next power pack which then gives me my second point so if I have batteries one battery pack Stones, drains down I just swap like over so when I swap over these what that does is then it will charge the battery pack which is run down whichever way I switch over it, it swaps everything around so the four pole I don't know if you can actually see this so we've got the four pole double throw switch which is basically this one and my that is what uh, basically how I've wired it up it's quite simple I mean you don't really need to be electronics or electrical um, it does help if you are because you can understand it and you can understand the currents etc but total cost ah, for the battery pack the switch my little proper uh, it's the Tamiya connector blocks and my charger which is a fast charger or trickle charger specially designed for metal nickel hydride batteries uh, 43 pound and when you think about the fact that if you went for a job site radio with the Makita or something those batteries are around about proper battery around 50 quid so I've got longer lifetime on the battery and it's cheaper and I've got two battery packs for the price of one um, yeah that's it cheers bye so I've just moved across into the lounge um, the <coughs> radio is all back together and I've got it switched down on power for one battery pack I have this problem with the flash again, so give it back and now turn it on. So, for such a cheap unit, the actual um, the storage of the memory or the memory of the stations, etc., is quite good. It's just like all Chinese stuff. They probably use the same motherboard and it's just been put in different applications. But anyway, so while it's, pack, while it's using one battery pack, the switch makes it so that the other battery pack then gets a charge. This is the charger and now it's charging. I've got, I've got the facility to charge um, from trickle charging which is 0.5 amps all the way up to a boost charge which is 5 amps it's uh, currently fast charging because the batteries are on their first charge one note on batteries is that nickel metal hydride batteries should always be fully charged on the first point of use and then after two complete dry discharges you will actually have about 100% of the battery's capacity. What it has to do is it has to basically uh, restructure itself within the component of the battery cell. Once it's done that, then you get the full 
rated capacity of the batteries. In this case, it's uh, 10,000 milliamps, which is 10 amp hours. So it gives you an idea of how long these batteries should last. The interference you can hear is obviously from the battery charger, but the only time I'll be charging the batteries up is when I'm not using the radio, because I have the option of going to mains or on the back. It gives you a 12 volt input port for charging off the car, which is exactly what I needed because I'll be charging off the van. And it's as simple as that, and it works quite well. Let's turn that off. Uh, this is on basic FM at the moment, but just switch over to DAB. And then we have it. Standard sort of thing with information. So on Pepper on Radio 2, Zoe in a poor dam this afternoon because he is in Africa. Do, 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 do. With Comet Relief visiting some projects that all uh, the money raised strength. goes to help. You'll be able to learn more about that when we speak to him later. And then switching over to FM. 24 hour dog. It's got the full radio text. Sure if he knows well, what he's let himself in for yet. I mean, come on, we've all danced for 24 hours. Signal strength. Yes. They. I, I, yeah, I'll probably confess. Back in the day. It's probably because I'm inside and I haven't got the air up, but it gives you uh, like radio but, text you know, as well, tells you what's playing. Or, is he? I mean, he's, he's 37, 42. Don't tell him I said that. Uh, all in all, this is not a bad unit. It's a little bit low on volume, could do have been a bit louder. Um, but the one thing which it really fouls on is the battery life, which uh, hopefully I've conquered. The batteries, the little C, they would normally sit in there. Uh, there's only four of them, and as I said, they don't last very long at all. Anyway. Hopefully this has helped a few other people out because this was a real big issue for me and now well, it's done.